So how do computers count and represent numbers? Well, to explain that, let's talk about how we humans represent numbers. So we humans use what is called a base 10 number system, most likely derived from the fact that we have 10 fingers and 10 toes. So for example, if you hold out your fingers and do the operation of 8 plus 4, right, uh, grade school finger counting, well, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We are out of fingers at 10, but there's still two more because we have um, uh, 8 plus 4 is actually 12. So we need two more. So what do we do when we don't have any more hands left, uh, any more fingers left? Well, we have to close all of our uh, fingers into like a fist, and then we have to hold in our head that we already counted the number 10, and we just have to add 2, uh, and uh, we get 12. So this is a pretty natural number system to us. We've been using it since grade school. But if you consider something like the dolphin, right, some animal that only has two fins, uh, they would not use a base 10 number system. So imagine a dolphin counting uh, to three with its two fins. So they have one fin plus one fin. And well, they're out of fins, but two does not equal three. So what do they do? They do, they, I guess, bring their fins closer to their bodies, hold in their mind that they, that they already counted to the number two, add one, and then they have a three. So this is called, again, base 10. And this is base two. So computers use uh, a model similar to how dolphins count. They use a base two number system, uh, except with one uh, anomaly, anomaly, which is that they start counting from zero. So let's take a number in binary and convert it back to our familiar base 10 decimal um, system. So let's take the uh, binary string, uh, 0, 1, 1, 1. And I'm going to write a 2 here to indicate that this is a base 2 number system number. Uh, likewise, uh, when I talk about uh, base 10 numbers, I will do a small uh, uh, suffix of a little 10 right here uh, to indicate that uh, differences in number systems. Anywho, so how do we convert this to a base 10 number? Well, what we do is that we just uh, go from right to left and do 2 to the 1, 2, and 3. We go to from right to left and do powers of 2, uh, increasing in their exponent by 1, by a factor of 1 each. And these evaluate to, uh, let's see, let me just draw that arrow nicer. This is 1. This is 2. 2 times 2 is uh, 4. And this is 2 times 2 times 2, which is, whoops, 8. OK. So uh, these ones here uh, represent a toggle. So this 0, you see it's right below the 8 right here. Uh, it means that we have no 8s. So it's no 8s plus, there's a 4 here, right? So plus 4. There's a 1 underneath the 2, so that we have a 2. And there's a 1 uh, underneath the 1. Uh, underneath to the 0, which is 1. Uh, you add all these up, and this is 7. So this is 7 in base 10. And this is also 7 in base 2. We just draw that box a little neater. Okay, so these two are equivalent, just using different number systems. So let's do another example to make sure this really uh, nails home. So let's do, uh, let's do challenge uh, number one. So uh, try to convert the binary number in base two to our familiar base 10. So pause the video. I'm going to attempt, I'm going to assume that you guys attempted in three, two, one. All right. So again, uh, we count up the powers of two. So this is uh, two to the zero, two to the one, the 2 and 2 to the 3. So this is uh, 1, 2, 4, and 8. Once you remember the powers of 2, you don't really need to uh, write out these um, powers of 2, but it helps for now. 
And, uh, well, we have a 1 underneath this 8 right here. So, right here, right? We have a 1 underneath the 8. So that's 8. Plus, well, we don't have a 0 here. So, there's no 4s. There's no 2s right here. But there is a 1 underneath the 1. So, that's 1. And this represents the number 9 in base 10. So, if you got that answer, uh, that's great. Uh, let's do one more just to... Uh, Double, triple check. So let's do, uh, let's say, uh, this is challenge number two. So let's do uh, one, 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 and one. All right. So uh, pause the video and see if you can convert this base two number to a base 10 number. In three, two, one. All right. So again, powers of two. I'm not going to write out the powers of 2 this time. Uh, it's going to be 1, 2, 4, and 8. So underneath the 8, underneath the 8, we have a 1. So that's 1, 8 there. We have 1, 4, 1, 2, and 1, 1. And this is 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 2 is 14. Plus 1 is 15. And that is 15 in base 10. So again, these two are equivalent numbers. And if you got it right, uh, pat yourself on the back. But you may have noticed that um, uh, after we fill all these up with ones, uh, are there any more numbers left? Like this is this seems like uh, the max, and you would be correct. This is the max uh, number uh, for a 4-bit number in base 2. So one major difference about computers is that they have a limited range of numbers that they can count to. So if you ever uh, played around in class with your calculator and you did like a million times a million, well, most likely you would say, hey, uh, there's an error. We can't count that far. And there's not enough sort of memory uh, to uh, count higher than a million times a million. So uh, this uh, is known as the uh, bit, sort of bit width. So four bits. Right? This is the maximum number for a 4-bit value. It's 15. So let me just show you the, um, the table that corresponds to all of the combinations of 4-bits. Uh, so 0, 0, 0 right here. Uh, let me just erase all this background stuff. Can I like delete? Let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Remove. That works. All right. So this is, again, let me just... Toggle Slayer, Erase. This is 4 bits. So as you can see, 0, 0, 0 represents 0. Uh, 0, 1, 0, 1 represents the number 5 right over here. Um, kind of weird that I can't draw over it. Um, and 15 is the maximum number of a 4 bit width. That's because we have a 0 over here taking up what would be 16. Right, computers start counting from zero, and that's why it sort of occupies the slot. So if you want to find the maximum number for a uh, for any bit width, right, the formula is two to the b, where b is the bit width. I'm just going to write bit width uh, minus one is equal to the max uh, number uh, representation. So in order to count higher, right, than uh, 15, we, we would have to go to more bits. Uh, so 5 bits would be, so pause the video and uh, see if you can figure out what the maximum number for 5 bits would be. So 3, 2, 1, well it's just 2 to the 5 minus 1. So 2 to the 5 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2, which is uh, 16 times 2, which is 32. So that's 32 minus 1, because we again, we have to count for this 0 here. So it's 31. 31 is the maximum uh, number that a 5-bit uh, bit width can accommodate for.
So if we wanted to represent more numbers, well, we would have to up the ante on the number of bits. So let's do that right now. Uh, let me just erase all these. Uh, this number table is no longer relevant anymore. So if you go to this website, uh, go to binary to decimal conversions, uh, let's convert this number to decimal. So let me just copy this, uh, paste it in here as a text. Paste this here. Let's do uh, 24. Let's do color white. Here we go. Save. All right, so pause the video and uh, see if you can convert this to a decimal number in three, two, one. All right, so I'm going to assume that you guys took in the swing at it. Uh, so again, it's the counting up the powers of two uh, from right to left. So this is two to the zero, two to the one. It's a bit kind of small to write in. Two to the one, two to the two. 2 to the 3, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 5, 2 to the 6, 2 to the 7th, okay? Because again, this 0 here takes out one of the bit widths. So uh, this evaluates to 1, just right above, 1, 2, 4, 8, uh, 16, 32, 64, and 128. So this is a little sloppy to see. I am sorry about that. But we have 128. Uh, there's a 1 underneath the 128. So with that, we have one of those. We have a 1 underneath the 32, right? So that's plus 32. We have a 1 underneath the 8, which is an 8. We have a 1 underneath the 4. And we have a 1 underneath the 1. OK, so if we add all these together, we should get the number in decimal. So uh, I am bad at math, so I will just use a calculator. I uh, don't want to mess this up. Let's do this is a lot of old stuff. 128 plus 32 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1. This is the number 173 in base 10. So let's punch this in and see if we got it right. So 173 check and we got it right so uh, there are four more to go uh, you can uh, practice more if you like on the site but uh, once we expand to eight bits we have a more higher range of numbers that we can represent we actually have uh, two to the again eighth minus one so two to the eighth power is 256 minus one is 255 so with an so with a bit width of eight right eight bits Eight bits. The maximum number we can represent is 255. All right. So, so far we've been going converting uh, binary numbers in base 2 to decimal. Deci in base 10. How do we go the other way around from decimal, decimal uh, to binary? So there are two methods to do this. Uh, I'll go over them both. Let's go over the subtraction method first. All right. So given the number 13 in base 10, how do we convert it to uh, the binary zeros and ones that represent the same value? All right. First off, let's start writing the powers of two. So two to the zero. One, two, three, and four. Uh, I just chose this an arbitrary bit width. So this evaluates to one, two, four, eight, and 16. So what we do is that we find a number from uh, left to right, right, from this way. We find a power of two, these, that is less than the number that we want to um, uh, convert it to. And we subtract, and then we use that as the new basis, and we keep repeating. So it's kind of... Uh, easier if I show you rather than explain it. So starting from left to right, uh, is 16 uh, less than 13? No, it's not, so it won't fit. So we have to put a zero here. Is eight less than 13? 
Uh, yes, it is. So we can put a 1 here, but we have to subtract uh, 13 from 8 now. That's equal to 5. So is 5... So wait, so it's 4 less than 5, right? This 4. Is it less than 5? Yes, it is. So we can put a 1 here, but we have, we also have to keep subtracting. So 1 here. Sorry for the background noise. Uh, so now we have a 1 here. Uh, so is 2 less than 1? No, 2 is greater than 1, so it won't fit. So we put a 0 here. Uh, and then uh, we move on to this final one. So is 1 less than or equal to 1? Well, they are equal, so we can subtract the 1. And that is equal to 0. So we can put a 1 here, as we did. And uh, this here is the binary representation for the number 13. Base 10. And this is base 2. So to confirm it, of course, we can just add all the numbers up. So we have a 8. We have a, let me see, 8 plus 4 plus 1. Just write that meter. Is equal to 13, right? Yeah. So that is one way you convert a uh, binary number, a decimal number, to a binary number using the subtraction method. So let's do another example uh, using the subtraction method. Uh, let me just erase this. So convert the binary string, I mean the decimal number, uh, 11 in base 10, right, to the binary string uh, in base 2. All right. So pause the video. I'm going to give you 3, 2, 1. All right, so let's write the corresponding powers of 2. 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. We don't really need the 16 here, but I'm just writing it in. Um, so, is uh, 16 less than 11? No, it's greater than 11, so we put a 0 here. Is 8 less than 11? Right, it is less than 11, so we can put a 1 here. Sorry for the background noise. Uh, so, we have to subtract it, so 11 minus 8, that is da -da -da, 3. So, is 4 less than 3? No, but it's greater than 3, so you have to put a 0 here. Uh, so, we go to the next one. Uh, so is 2 less than 3? Yes, it is. So we can put a 1 here. And we have to subtract the 2 now. It's 1. And is 1 less than or equal to 1? Well, it is. So we can subtract the 1 here. Uh, we have to put a 1 here. And then we subtract the 1, which is 0. And this is the binary string that represents the number uh, in phase 2 binary. So this is 11 decimal, 11 in binary. All right. So there are more problems expanding out to 8 bits. Uh, so if you go to decimal to binary, uh, 245 uh, to binary. Uh, so I would, I'll do one of these and you guys should do this, uh, the rest on your own. All right, so let me just uh, copy this. There. Uh, paste it in and clear, erase everything first using the subtraction method. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, move this. All right, so I'll pause the video, see if you can figure this out before I take a swing at it. So three, two, one. So we're given the bit width of uh, eight bits. So let's uh, write down the corresponding powers of two, right? Two to the one, I'm not gonna write down, you know, two to the zero, two to the one, two to the eighth. I'm just gonna evaluate the powers of two in my head. So it's a uh, one, two, four, uh, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128, and uh, when you move a little to the right, 256. So, same process uh, using the subtraction method. So, is 256 uh, less than uh, 245? No, it's greater. So, we put a zero here. And it's 128 less than 245. Yes, it is. So, we can start subtracting. So, let's do 245 minus 128 is 117, so 117 becomes the new thing that we have to keep recursively uh, subtracting. So is, one, is 64 less than 117? Yes, we, so we can put a 1 there, minus 64. So let's do that. 117 minus 64 is 53. So is 32 less than 53? Yes, it is. So we can put a 1 here and subtract 32. So that is... 32 uh, is 21 is 16. Let me write this clearly. Six is 16 less than 21. Yes, it is. So put a one here. Minus 16. So 
minus minus 16 is 5. So is 8 less than 5? No, it's not. Uh, is 4 less than 5? Yes, it is. So we put a 1 here, which is 1. So is uh, 2 uh, less than 1? No, it's greater than 1. So it's 0. And then this last one is always going to be, you know, we have to put a 1 here, because 1 is, is that less than or equal to 1? Yes, it is, so that's 0. Then we have a 0 here finally, and uh, we gather these all up. And this is the uh, bit width, bit pattern that represents 245 in base 10. So let's punch this in and see if we got it right. So uh, let me just zoom out a little. So 0, 1, 1, 1. Uh, one, zero, one, zero, one. Let's go check. Uh, so this should be right. So 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 245. So the problem here is that uh, the answer has to be uh, 8 in length. So we're adding this extra 0 here. 1, one two, four, six, eight. So the answer in this input box has to be 8 length wide. And since uh, 256 is a 0 here, we don't really need it. So yeah, so let's just check. And there we go. So uh, do the rest on your own if you can. And let's go over the division method of how to convert decimal to binary. So the division method requires uh, recursively dividing the quotient by uh, 2 while keeping track of a remainder. So it's kind of easier if I uh, show you. So given the number 233 in uh, base 10, how do we convert that to the binary uh, string representation of the same value? So uh, we have to divide 233, right, this number here, by 2, by 2. Uh, let's just punch this into a calculator, because I'm usually bad at mental math. 116.5. Uh, so there's a remainder of one. Uh, so if you remember from grade school, like in fifth grade or something, um, uh, this would not fit in perfectly, right? Because 116 is the closest number we can get before we have to go decimal places. So 116.2 is 232, 232. We have a one left over. Whoops, I forgot to write 116 here. So you have a one left over, and in later grades, they would make you put a decimal point and then, you know, put a zero here, and then keep going until you get the exact, the exact answer. But for us, we want to keep track of the remainder. So this is 116, remainder, one. So we take this number, and we uh, keep recursively dividing by uh, one until we get to uh, one and zero. So let's keep going. 116 divided by 2 is equal to, so it's an even number. 116 is even divided by 2, so it's going to fit in perfectly. 58, there's no remainder, right? Because uh, if you uh, multiply, uh, wait, if you divide 116 by 2, you get 58. And 58 times 2 is 116. So no, no remainder again. Take this number, divided by 2. Uh, that is 29, uh, no remainder, I keep going, so 29 divided by 2 is 14.5, uh, so we have a remainder of 1, so 14, alright, let's keep going, 14 divided by 2, so that is an even number. There's going to be no remainder because two divided, 14 divided by 2 is 7. So let's take 7 and divide that by 2. That is 3.5. So 3, remainder of 1. <coughs> Keep going. 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. So there is going to be a, rem a remainder. So remainder 1. And then 1 divided by 2, which is 0.5. So there's going to be a remainder of 1. 
All right, so what we do now is from bottom to top, right? So here, from bottom, this is bottom, to top, all the way up here. We gather up the uh, all the zeros and ones in this order, and that is our answer for the binary representation of 233. Can't really scroll this well. Let me just uh, keep going up. Here we go. So this is, uh, let's see, uh, one. One, 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 zero, one, right? One, 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 zero, one. Uh, let's see, zero, zero, one. And this is equal to 233 in base 10. And this is base two. So uh, to double check your answer, you can always add all these up. So let's convert this back to a um, decimal number and see if we got it right. So let's say uh, this is 8-bit. This is a bit width of 8. So it's a uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run out of room before I reach the other. So let me just rewrite this way over here. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So we have the pattern 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. So let's add all these up. So 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 8 plus 1. And that is 233. So we got it right. So let's do another example uh, using the division method. This one is something that you guys will have to figure out and take a swing at. All right, let me just grab it. So we're just going to take a screenshot, copy, paste. Uh, where'd it go? Here it is. I wish it would have just pasted in where, I, where my mouse was, but okay. So uh, take this 45 and convert it to uh, base two using the division method with a bit width of eight. All right, gonna go over the answers in uh, three, two, one. So again, we keep recursively dividing. So uh, 45 divided by two is going to be equal to divided by two, 45 divided by two is 22.5. 22, remainder one, 22 divided by two is 11. Uh, so it's, 22 divided by 2, whoops, is 11. It perfectly fits. Uh, we take 11, we take this, right, divided by 2. So it's 5.5, .5, so 5 remainder, whoops, it looks like an 8. Remainder 1, keep going. 5 divided by 2, uh, let's see, is 2.5, so 2 remainder 1. Uh, 2 divided by 2 is 1, no remainder, and 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5, but there is a remainder of 1. So uh, from bottom to top, right this way, we gather up all the numbers and they should equal to 45 in decimal. So it's 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. 0, 1. And base 2 should equal uh, the number 45 in base 10. So let's try to convert this to a uh, decimal number. Uh, if you remember how to do so, pause the video and do that before we go over it. That's a good exercise. So it's 3, 2, 1. Uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So that's 32 plus, we have an 8 there, plus 4, plus 1. So, 8 plus 4 plus 1 is 45, and that is the same as the uh, 1 in decimal, right? So let's punch this in. So let me just write this out so I don't have to. 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. 
Okay. Pieces here. So again, we have to make sure the answer is in uh, eight bits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're missing two more. So we can pre-pad this with two zeros because we have two zeros here, right? This would be 64 and 128. So these don't matter at all. Like they add zero to the equation, which is still going to be equal to 45 nonetheless. But you have to pad it out uh, to get this answer correctly. So let's check and make sure we got it right. And we got it right. So I will leave you with the rest to go. And I will catch you in the next one.